Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the difference between the Shredder and the Halo. So uh, yeah, a couple of you guys have been asking me this question and it's actually a very valid question. Uh, you know, which weapon should you get? Both of these weapons are light weapons. Both of them have that range of up to 500 meters and both of them obviously lock down players. Uh, the question though is which one is the better weapon uh, to purchase because as you know with the new economy uh, you know everything takes a lot longer to get uh, obviously a lot more resources so you want to make uh, the right choice in you know purchasing obviously the right weapon for whatever build uh, you are deciding uh, to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some gameplay clips and then uh, I guess we'll take it from there and I'll, I'll kind of explain to you like my opinion on uh, certain things and you know which weapon I would get if I had to uh, pick one. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, sort of the firing mechanic of the uh, Shredder. It's not a lock-on weapon, um, it is manual aim. You have to make sure that uh, quite a bit of precision is involved. You have to constantly have your crosshair on the target. Um, the thing is, if you're facing a fast-moving bot like a Strider or a Kumiho, there's a good chance that a couple of rounds are going to miss. Uh, as is the case here, so you can see, you know, I'm not able to lock down the second player. The other one, I was able to lock them down. Uh, but I also want you to pay special attention to, you know, how long it takes for me to deplete all my rounds. And then that three second reload time. Uh, the thing with, uh, you know, the three second reload time is quite often when I'm engaging in a battle, I have to reload in the middle of that engagement. If I'm dealing with someone who has Orkins, uh, you have to be very careful. You know, if you're within that 300 meters, uh, there's a chance that you may get killed. So I think if you know you are going up against someone who has Orkins, make sure that you stay out of that 300 meter range. Uh, very important uh, with this weapon. Uh, so yeah, essentially, you know, you can lock down a player, but the thing is, you don't really do that much damage. And uh, being that you go through your clip, uh, I think that's the best way to describe it. If you're going through your clip very quickly, you have to make sure that uh, when you have time, like now, you can see here, I'm uh, behind cover. I'm making sure that I fire all my rounds so that I'm fully loaded for the next engagement. Uh, because you go through your shredder rounds very quickly and it's not like it does a ton of damage. So you can see how, you know, hovering around uh, this tunnel area here just because someone was firing hydras at me. Um, I did lock down this player. I'm keeping out of that 300 meter range because I realize they have Orkins. The other thing that I want you to pay uh, special attention to as well because it's going to happen in you know some of these clips is when I'm firing at a player uh, who goes into stealth, uh, keep an eye on the shredder rounds. Like you're going to see me fire straight at them, but also a couple of those rounds end up missing. Um, I have to be very close to the player if they are in stealth um, to hit them to actually lock them down. And I think it kind of happens over here after I lock down uh, you know, this player, you see that there is an inquisitor, he jumps. Now take a look at this, like I'm firing at him, um, but my rounds are actually going above him, so I'm not even locking him down. And uh, this is important because later on we're going to be talking about the difference obviously between this and uh, you know, the halo weapons. And uh, in this clip here, I'm firing at a player, you know, 430, 450 meters away using the shredder, but take a look at how much damage I'm doing, how many of my rounds are missing, and, you know, my ability to lock down a player. So while, you know, you can lock down players, the further out you go, um, obviously the spread is wide and you're more likely to uh, miss your targets. So here I'm trying to get closer just so that you can see the damage output. Uh, when you are running close but the thing is as i said you're going through your rounds very quickly uh, with this weapon and then you have to you know wait three seconds to reload before you can do that damage again but quite often if you're dealing with orkins uh, you know once again you can go down very quickly because obviously you don't have that high damage output and here in the case of the kumiho watch what happens when he dashes at me so I can't track him as quickly. Uh, you gotta keep in mind I'm playing on an iPhone here, but even on an iPad, you won't be able to track you know, those players as quickly. Therefore, you're gonna be missing quite a few rounds. And this is sort of important uh, because uh, obviously, you know, if you have a lot of dash bots or you know, other fast moving bots around you, like maybe you're even going up against another pursuer, you're gonna end up missing quite a few rounds uh, because of uh, this direct aim uh, weapon. So even here, look at this, uh, 398, uh, let's just say 400 meters, 
I'm not really doing that much damage to uh, this player. I did lock him down, but uh, that's as far as I really went. And here when I'm engaging these players here, you'll see 300 meters. I'm not really doing that much damage. I did lock down that player. Uh, essentially, I'm using this just to support my team. But you also find that because I know like the players uh, behind him here, you know, some of them have Orkins, I'm trying to keep out of that Orkin range as well. Okay, so, you know, Shock Train obviously got me there, but I believe one of these players, uh, they did have Orkins. Uh, you're going to see it shortly here. Because when I move back, uh, a couple of them, I think, will fire Orkins at me, if I remember correctly. I try to put all of these clips uh, together uh, to show you, you know, the difference between the Shredder and uh, the Halo, which you'll be getting to uh, in a bit. And I believe these are the ones that have Orkins. So I have to make sure that I'm out of that 300 meter range, because remember, you don't want to get too close. So here we go. And you can see, you know, I'm locking down the player, but then mid-battle, I have to reload. And this is when I end up, you know, getting killed. So that's why, you know, I say, like, if you're going to use this weapon and you're going up against someone with Orkins, uh, be very mindful that you don't want to get too close. And the same thing here, you know, I see this guy has Orkins, so I back off, make sure that I freeze him, and I try to wear him down. But again, these Shredders aren't really doing that much damage. And, you know, these Shredders are MK2 level 12 max. Um, they could do potentially a little bit more damage if I use boosters on, but I don't use boosters for these uh, videos because not all players uh, use them. So again, the same thing here. I'm trying to wear him down, but you can see I locked him down, but these weapons don't do that much damage. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at the Shredder, let's take a look at the Halo to see you know, what kind of difference there is in terms of uh, its ability to lock down players and also to do damage as well. Okay, so with this first clip, what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you guys the ability of the Halo to lock down players while they are in stealth. So unlike the Shredder weapon where you know more precision is involved, you have to constantly keep your crosshair on the target. This weapon, not so much. Um, you have that bullet spread. So as you can see, I was able to take out the Spectre. And then at the same time, there was another player on the other side I think he had the Halo, but he was able to lock me down while I was in stealth. So a very good example of the Halo there. And then here on Rome map, you know, I went into the Coliseum, took out the Kumiho, uh, but a very interesting engagement afterwards. You know, a Pursuer Gus going up against a Pursuer Halo. I did lose this engagement, but keep in mind that I had lost a little bit of health, you know, prior to this engagement. So I think the outcome would have been pretty much close or even. And then in this next clip here on Shenzhen map, uh, take note of the distance here because in the other clip uh, with the shredder I was firing at a player 430 meters away I wasn't able to lock them down but uh, here you can see I'm able to lock down this Lancelot multiple times uh, it could be the difference between you know Lancelot's profile and I think it was a dash I was firing uh, with the shredder in the other clip uh, but I thought it was very interesting um, you know making that comparison between the two and then here on moon map I uh, kind of was in my pursuit. I went towards the uh, Fury Trebuchet. Tried to lock him down and I did do that. I was going to take him out but then I saw that he was being healed. So I kind of switched over to uh, the Spectre. So I locked down the Spectre while he was in stealth. And you can see the amount of damage I'm doing um, from I guess under 100 meters. Able to lock him down, able to take him out. And then in this clip here on Yamantau map. The ability of the Halo to lock down multiple players in a very short amount of time uh, because of that bullet spread. Uh, the other thing too is, you know, if I was dealing with, uh, you know, a pursuer or with a dash bot, you know, dashing towards me, keep in mind I don't have to uh, keep my uh, target uh, on that player because of the bullet spread. You know, I have a better chance of actually locking them down or at least doing damage to them. And uh, you know, lastly here on Springfield map, me locking down uh, two players. Uh, from a pretty safe distance but anyways guys I just wanted to show you guys uh, you know my opinion uh, on these two weapons you know if I had to choose obviously the halo and uh, that's pretty much it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit that thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed consider subscribing until the next video I'll catch you guys later